Hello everyone, today I'll be test driving the new Porsche 911-997.2. This is the latest iteration of the 911 series. This is probably the most refined 911 ever to be built. And the reason I say that is because the next generation 911 uh, will actually be a 991 series. So this is probably the best you can get from the 911. Uh, the next generation will be a totally different animal from the current 911 series so get them while you can this is this is the last year they're going to be built i believe with the new 997.2 carreras uh, porsche introduces the pdk uh, dual clutch transmission uh, this is a porsche technology that everyone has been waiting for uh, with all the other manufacturers releasing their manual uh, automated manual clutch transmissions or dual clutch transmissions uh, Porsche is kind of late in the game, but when they came back, when they brought it in, they brought the best. Uh, the PDK is an extremely fast transmission, extremely durable. Um, there hasn't been any real cases of these transmissions failing on any race applications or just general street use. Unlike some other cars, for example, the GTR, um, seems like a very sensitive glass box dual clutch transmission. 997.2 911 series uh, starting with the base model they, they they're very lightweight uh, I believe they weigh around 3072 pounds um, extremely agile cars um, that's what makes them handle so well and you know it's, this car doesn't have a whole lot of horsepower compared to the horsepower figures of a lot of today's uh, production uh, sports cars at 345 horsepower you know it, it doesn't sound like a very strong or high horsepower car compared to the competition however you know zero to 60 times I'll tell you otherwise zero to 60 with the new pdk transmission here uh, for the carrera series is 4.3 to 4.5 seconds depending if he has port chrono or not that's extremely fast with only 345 horsepower a lot of the competition requires well over 400 horsepower to get similar uh, zero to 60 figures
an hour with a top speed of 81 miles per hour uh, over the course of 400 miles they were able to achieve 35 miles a gallon that's extremely good um, a major achievement for Porsche uh, the direct injection obviously is a very beneficial system for these cars um, help delays the need for alternative energy for uh, gas gas injection cars the PDK transmission shifts so well there's really no need 